Hello, thank you and greetings. I've just been watching uh, the game between Argentina and uh, Mexico. It's thrilling. It was 2-0. I was so excited and uh, I'm just back to my station. Uh, but on the way I was thinking, when will Uganda ever appear in the World Cup? What is wrong? And I have the information because I am a graduate. I did a master's in international sports law uh, at the University of Europe in Real Madrid. So that is my industry. I'm going to answer the question I have uh, put right now. The challenge is every year, get this from me, from a talk. Every year, Federation for International Football Association, FIFA, it's just two hours away in Geneva here, they transfer money to all national federations in the world. Same amount. Every country gets five million US dollars. Five million US dollars a year. That's equivalent to 11 billion shillings. Uganda got it. And even during the COVID, FIFA transferred additional two million US dollars. That is about seven billion shillings to support the players and sporting activities that could be suffering because of the shock of COVID. So what's that money doing? What is the money doing? Okay, let's leave that there. The International Olympic Committee raises a lot of money. Actually, the International Olympic Committee now wants even to open their private bank in Geneva because they have so much money that they don't know what to do with it. The International Olympic Committee transfers money to every national federation to promote, identify, and develop Olympic sports. There are currently 55 recognized international Olympic sports. And in Uganda, about 31 sports have been registered with the national sporting activities have been registered with the National Olympic Committee. Volleyball, football, badminton, hockey, rugby, boxing, swimming. An International Olympic Committee transfers money every year, 11 billion shillings to Uganda. This is just money for the National Olympic Committee. I'm not even talking of the 5 million US dollars of FUFA. So what's that money doing? During COVID, they gave 2 million US dollars to support the players and sporting activities. And as I talk now, I get some player from Wakiso Giant, Udu Baraka, FC is eating Rolex. So where is the money going? A minister in Ugandan government traveled up to Spain to get my services. He wanted to know how much money is being transferred to Uganda. Imagine, even the minister does not know, and into which account. Now, interestingly, in Uganda, the money for the, from the International Olympic Committee is being transferred into a private account. Someone has registered a private limited liability company. And one of the shareholders is a UPDF officer, a major a captain in the UPDF. So this money which for sports development comes, it goes to private accounts. Very disturbing. And strangely, also these small associations, boxing, volleyball, they have to elect their president, their chairpersons. Those chairpersons then subsequently come to the National Olympic Committee and they elect their overall chairperson, like the current president of the National Olympic Committee is Dr. Rukare. These are the people who receive the 11 billion shillings. So what is the money doing? Are we really developing sports? Uh, Uganda last appeared in the African Cup of Nations in 1978. I thank Coach Mitchell and Tim Magogo for bringing us to the African Cup of Nations recently. After 40 years. In 1978, I was one year old. And interestingly, Uganda played the final with Ghana. This time we just participated. But in 1978, we played the final with Ghana. We could have won, but all the players suffered food poisoning. All of them were directing before the match. And they suspected that either the, there was food poisoning or there's something funny happened. Coach Tom Luanga played in the Uganda Cranes in 1978. 
So if during a means regime we could bring Uganda to the African Cup of Nations, what about now? You know why Amin succeeded? They would identify skills from the village. Someone would leave Kakiri village and come and play in the national team. The process of identification was transparent. So what is happening now in this era? So Ugandans must know a lot of money is being transferred. It is now our right to ask for accountability so that money can be used for sports development. 